This meeting is being recorded. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I am so glad that you were able to make it today. We're going to have a lot of fun making a wooden wick candle through our wonderful Michaels platform. So excited. I'm hoping that some of you have had the time to purchase the Love Struck Candle Kit so that you would be going along with me today. However, if not, we'll put the link in the chat so that you can purchase it later and you'll still know what to do as well. There'll, there'll be a recording as well. So again, my name is Cindy. I work for the Wood and Wick Co. in partnership with Michaels. And our goal is to inspire, educate, and empower you to make the most amazing creations and just work your little heart out with creativity and joy. Um, and that's what I'm here to help you, inspire you to do so. I am a certified candle holic. That's me, also known as a dog freak. I have five golden retrievers. Hopefully none pass by today and knock anything over. Um, but I am super excited to get started. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make two wooden wick candles. And if you've ne never experienced a wooden wick before, you are in for a treat. Um, the wooden wick is so unique and different because it's like having a mini fireplace right on your table. Um, you will just love it. It's like the flame dance around on the wick and then it's this crackling just amazing noise in the background um, it's so peaceful and calming I just can't say enough about the wood wick and that's why most people buy it um, because it's one of a kind you can't get it anywhere else the wooden wick is just just amazing um, just music to your ears honestly um, aside from that it looks gorgeous um, it I'll give you an example so this would be like a finished one. Hopefully you can see um, it, how beautiful the aesthetically the wooden wick looks. Um, quite different than the white cotton string that you maybe um, are more used to. Um, so it is beautiful to look at and then it has that amazing crackle. Um, so with that said, let's move over. Um, we, the first thing we're going to look at is the wax. So we're going to make two candles, like I said. Um, we'll do them one at a time. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to use mica power, powder. Mica, we're going to use this gold one today. And you would need a paintbrush with that, um, just a thin little paintbrush. I'm hoping there's people that will be following along. But as I said, it's going to be recorded, so you could do it on your own time as well. Because what I'm going to show you at the end, we have to let these candles that we're making actually sit for 24 hours before I can put the mica on them, so they have to cure. I'm going to show you with one of the candles I previously made an example of it, and then guide you through how to use the mica. And mica is super fun. It's just like adding just extra pizzazz. Um, I love it. You know, you, there's so many uses for mica and, and um, it just enhances everything. So maybe you've never seen a candle with mica before. So chime in. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is um, take out all the components. So we have a black um, aura. It's a matte finish. It is gorgeous. Um, and this is the sultry rose. And this is the love struck. It's a combination kit, okay? And it has different lids, but they're both wood pine lids. This one is black and this one is um, natural. Make a great coaster as well. Um, all sorts of things. For, I'm not even gonna apologize for being silly. I am silly. Um, I love to recycle everything. Everything we do is recyclable, biodegradable, um, just completely eco-friendly. So you don't have to worry. It just takes that out of the picture. Okay. So true story. I like to recycle these as coasters in my house. You'll find these all over the place. If you come over, you know, water, kombucha, wine, whatever, um, make great coasters. 
You don't want to put these on until after you light it, which is not going to be for 72 hours after today. So if you are in a place um, that you can't leave your candle to sit for a minimum of 12 hours while it cures, I'll remind you again, but in the last step, you're going to want to move to a spot that you can leave it undisturbed. I just did a class right before this, and that's why I have this one right here, because I can't disturb it. Um, so it has to sit. Um, so we'll go over more of that later. So in 72 hours, you'll be able to light this delectable, beautiful smelling, luxurious, sustainable candle. Okay, so we have two, we have the cream um, love struck, and then we have the sultry rose. They're both just magnificent. Um, we have the bamboo stirrers. Um, so what you get two packs. So each kit kind of like this together. So each one has its own fragrance, its own bamboo stirrer, and all the other components that we'll go over. All right. So you have your bamboo stirrer. Now I'm not gonna lie. I recycle this as a charcuterie um, tray embellishment. I love to have people over and make charcuterie trays. And then I like just casually lay it on there like that. Um, it is so cute. It also just, you could put jam on your crackers with it. Um, another thing that I use it all the time for is honey and tea. I've become a teaaholic also. Um, so I love to add honey this time of year. And I use this. Um, make sure if you do have one of these handy, you hide it from your guests. They always want to steal it from you. Um, it's such a fun tool. I'm not going to lie. I've used it as a microphone for some karaoke parties too, but that's for a whole nother day. Okay. For right now, we're just going to put it right there. I don't know if I'm going to go into song and dance today and see if I get in the mood. Um, okay. Now, so we're going to take out the fragrance. This fragrance is to die for. It is called Dark Rose and Labdanum. It is absolutely one of my favorite. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of favorites. I can't help it. When you work in fragrance, it's like you just get addicted to so many different ones. But this one is in my top three, honestly. Um, this one is like a deep, sexy, musky with a flowery scent. It is mm, heaven. Um, I'm afraid to even open it right now because I just get so excited. Um, I'll wait till later. Um, so we got that. Um, another thing about the fragrance I want to point out is, like I told you, everything we do here is eco-friendly first in mind um, and sustainable. But what's extremely important is that our fragrances do not contain any toxins. That's no phthalates, that's no parabens, that's no Prop 65. There is zero cancer causing ingredients. They are just as clean as you can get. Um, and that's important. Why? Why is it important? Well, if you're a person like me that lights candles all day long, whatever you're lighting is going in through your nose to your lungs, also getting on your skin, also getting on your pets, all five golden retrievers, and your guests that come in, your family. It matters um, what you smell and what you put in your body. Um, again, that's something to think about if you light a lot of candles. Now, if you're a candle person that light it once a year, I wouldn't be so worried about it. But if you love them as much as me, you gotta think about safety. Um, so all our fragrances are free, toxin free. You don't have to worry about any harmful substances. Um, so the next thing we're gonna take out is the rest of the components for candle number one. Okay, so this sticker, this is super duper important. Why? Well, this sticker is from the National Candle Association, which right after this class, I am doing another candle demonstration for them, the National Candle Association. So I'm super excited. But these have a very important things. I have always loved candles, like 20 years worth of lighting multiple candles a day. Okay. I have serious woo -woo problems. Okay. I love candles and there are things on here that I never knew. And maybe you guys don't know either. 
So I'm just gonna share a couple of things that are important that I thought were important and I never knew. One, you are supposed to trim, do, 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 trim your wicks between burns. Trim what? Let me explain. Trim your wicks, okay? So this is a wick trimmer. Although it is the funnest tool to use, I can never find this thing. So I use my fingers. Um, so you don't have to have a, a special tool, but you could use your fingers. And when the candle is cool, whether it's a wood wick or one with a cotton, it doesn't matter. You want to pinch off the black part at the top, which is carbon buildup. Why? Well, have you ever not? Scares the daylights out of me. Okay, I go to light it and that big black ball is on the top. I'm like, woo! Okay, it sparks back at me every single time I jump. I don't, I always now trim now that I know because I don't like to be scared of sparks coming at me. But another thing is if you had a paper towel or a napkin next to you or something like that, then it could potentially spark and cause a fire. So we don't want that. Next, it also, have you ever seen like, when you have a clear vessel, now these are not clear, but some people have clear vessels with like trans, they're translucent. A lot of candle vessels are like that. Have you also ever seen that they get black easily um, and the sides turn black? That is also from not trimming your wicks. It's because the soot from there builds up, it gets hot and it just causes it to be black. So, Highly recommend you trim your wicks between burns. And that's not a Cindy rule. That is actually the National Candle Association rule. Um, so you do want to do that. Second, I never knew that there's an actual time limit. Like you're not supposed to light your, like keep your candles lit for 10 hours. Like what? I always did. Like eight to 10 hours was the norm. Like five of them going in at once in every room. Like I didn't know that that was a problem, but it is. The National Candle Association tells us that after four hours, we need to stop. It can cause a fire. It gets too hot, can break the glass, and boom, you have a fire in your kitchen and anywhere else. So keep that in mind. And at four hours, start a new candle and, and just make sure you cut the old ones off. Um, and then it has other things like that are obvious. Like you don't want pets and small children. You don't want fans around your burning candles, obviously. Those I get, but those other two I never knew. So um, this sticker, the National Candle Association is going to go on, on the bottom of your vessel like this. Ta-da! All right, next. Forgive me for a second. Um, I'm talking too much. Okay. So this is where it gets really fun. The woodwick. If you've never seen a woodwick, here you go. Let me introduce you to the most amazing wood wick. We have all the patents on it, over a hundred. Um, it is certified by the Forestry Commission. What does that mean? It means that we take wood out of forests that we make sure we replace those trees. We make sure that there's wildlife there for generations and generations to come. So we do the eco-friendly, sustainable choice in using our wicks, which the cotton ones, not so much, just FYI. So protect your environment, use the wood wicks. Also, again, it boils down to what looks better, what sounds better, right? That's why you're gonna probably buy a wood and wood candle. Okay, well, what looks better? Ladies, I don't know about you, but this looks a whole lot better to me than a white string hanging out. I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay? I prefer a wood wick. It looks prettier, right? I mean, wood, wick, nice, clean, or white string, end of story. Next, we have the crackling. The number one reason why people buy wood wick is the crackle. Again, can't get that with a cotton wick. I mean, I'm not dissing a cotton wick at all. I mean, they make great candles too. I have closets full, okay? I love candles. However, the wood wick is gonna immerse the scent, the actual fragrance into the room 
35% faster than a cotton wick. Well, if you're like me, I don't want to wait that long. I mean, I want to start smelling that scent, right? That's why I lit the candle because I wanted to smell up the room, change my emotion, make it calm, peaceful, beautiful. Um, so that's another reason for using the wooden wick. Okay, so got that under control. What we're going to do now is we are going to take the wood wick in one hand. And if you're doing this along with me, make sure you listen to the whole directions before you start, because I have broken two of them before, thinking I was like the overachiever type. Um, yeah, it actually takes a little bit of learning to use. Still super simple, but it takes learning. So I like to do what I call the rock, okay? The rock is you rock your body like this, Okay, and you rock it into place. Why? Because when I rock my body like this, as I'm doing it, I insert more pressure and it takes a little bit of pressure to get it in. It's not like it just like boop, pops in. Okay, it takes a little bit of maneuvering. So what you do is you gently do, 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 rock, 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 rock without trying to break it into place. Whoops, okay. All right, so you rocked it like that, you got it like that into place, all right? That's that's your wick. So we're gonna put that down such as that. Next, we're gonna take the little small portion of the sticker and we're going to put it on the bottom, okay? Um, so we're gonna place it on the bottom like that Okay, and then it's just an adhesive. So you're gonna take the other little doohickey sticker off and you're ready to insert your wick. So what are you gonna do? Well, we have a problem. We have to find the middle. Hmm. If you're OCD, like me, like a lot of people, you might find that challenging. But the good news is no matter what, it's gonna be amazing. So you don't have to worry about it. All you do is you eyeball it like, woo. Okay, and I eyeball it and I'm like, one, two, three, boom. Works every time, ready? Eyeball, woo, one, two, three, boom. Ta-da, nailed it, okay? Just like that, perfect. Okay, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get the first wax in the microwave. Again, if you're following along with me, the microwave, um, I use it for three minutes in my microwave. However, every microwave can be a little bit different. So yours might be three minutes, five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever. So at three minutes, we're gonna check it. We want it to be clear yellow, okay? Just completely solid yellow all the way through, okay? If there's any little white chunks, Nope, we don't want white chunks. So we pop it back in and another 15 to 20 seconds and you should get rid of those chunks. So we hope that this should only be three minutes and while it's cooking away, we will talk about fragrance. I love fragrance, like I told you earlier. So, excuse me. So I'm gonna tell you something that you may or may not know. I found it interesting before I started making candles. I didn't know about it. So I want to share the news with you. All right. So you're shopping at Michael's for a new candle or wherever you are, do, 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 right? And you get to the store and you're like, oh, yeah, that's so good. And you're smelling all the candles, right? What you're smelling at solid state is called the cold throw. Okay. Um, once you light it at home, it's called the hot throw. Well, why does that matter? Let me tell you why it matters. Okay. So cold throw in the store. Do, 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 do. I'm going to buy this one. Okay. You pick a scent, a candle at the store. You go home, you light it. Awesome. For 15 or 20 minutes, you're in heaven. It is exactly what you smelled in the store, just like you wanted, right? Great. Guess what? That is just the top note of the fragrance. So that top note 
only lasts 15 to 20 minutes once you light it. What? Who knew? I didn't know that. So how do you get past the 20 minutes to the other notes? That's why we're doing this today because I'm showing you how to make the best candle so you can have all the way through the most amazing smell. Um, so let's look at this. So you have, picture a triangle, okay? At the top portion is the top note. That note is 15, 20 minutes of your fragrance, okay? Once you light it. Then you have the middle note, it's a majority of your triangle okay and that's like two to three hours ish and that one is the bulk of your fragrance of your candle um and then you have the base note which is the remainder and you kind of need all of them to go together to make the best scent possible um but if you don't make your candle properly um which is stirring at the right temperature having all the right wax and components and percentages and everything is it's a it's actually a science and an art i'm making it look super easy here because we're using kits kits are all pre-measured pre-tested for us but when you go and make a real candle um you'll find if it's not pre-measured and everything it takes a little bit more testing to figure out um but that's the fun of it too um so let me pop this out and mine is ready um, so always have your handy dandy pot holders, okay? It is gonna be super hot. All right. All right, awesome. So gets us to our next step. This is again, super important, probably the most important part of candle making. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pour our entire contents of our fragrance. Okay. And again, this is going to blow my mind when I open it. All right, here we go, people. I have to do it. Doesn't matter if I've smelled it like 80 times. I'm still obsessed with it. Oh my God. So good. It is heaven. Oh my God. So it is sweet musky, um, a dash of rose, a dash of citrus. I just can just kind of all the beautiful notes are just like, whoa, coming to my senses. It is just amazing. Now, interesting fact, if you go and smell the exact same one, our noses are completely different. Everyone has a completely different olfactory system. So you may or may not like it, right? We all have different preferences. You may or may not smell it the same way I smell it. You might smell something different in it. it happens all the time. Our noses are just completely detect different scents, which makes that kind of nice too. Um, like some people are very nose sensitive and they can pick up scents really fast. Some people, they don't smell anything, especially after COVID. Um, and some people like, have definite preferences, like you either love or hate vanilla. You know, some people have those definite preferences. Um, I don't really, I kind of like them all, but I do like some more than others. And this is one of like, honestly, my top three favorite scents. So what we're gonna do is pour the entire contents in. Now, I'm going to go two minutes, boom. And I'm going to stir it for two minutes while that's going. Now, let me give you a little bit of background here. So I was a virtual education teacher for 15 or more years. So I have to tell you a little bit of education just because I can't help it. So what's happening here is the wax molecules are opening up and becoming porous and the fragrance molecules are attaching to it. Um, and what we want to happen is they become extremely in love, okay? They are cohesive, they are combining together and this is extremely important 
because this is what is going to make up the middle and the top notes, especially the middle and the bass notes, excuse me. Um, so we want to get a really, really good stir with this. Um, another interesting tidbit is that if I wasn't making a candle right now live um, for Michael's and I was making this just at home for myself, um, the act of me just sitting here stirring it peacefully is actually research based to be a act of mindfulness. So I would be like just concentrating on the stir and like smelling the aroma, which is amazing right now filling up my room. I wish my whole house smelled like this. Um, and I would just be concentrating on the actual stirring. And that creative process in my brain would just tune out everything. And it really creates a very um, mindful activity, like meditative almost, okay? Um, so I also think if you're at all interested in candle making, you look into how it can really have some health benefits. Um, and it, it just really is like natural therapy almost. Um, because when you're involved and you're not teaching a class and you're just focusing on the steps, it can be extremely therapeutic. Um, this, the fragrance also changing your emotions um, is amazing. So I'm gonna use this lid as the spoon rest there. Now, like I said um, earlier, um, I can't move it once I pour, and I do have more classes after, so I'm gonna be aware of that. Um, so to have the best candle, you wanna leave it in place for 12 hours so that it has time to um, really cure. And like real candle makers, they don't touch their candles after they make them for a minimum of two weeks. We know because we've tested this kit that we're good to go in 72 hours. So with that said, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna pour on the side here. Don't pour on the top of the wick. If you get the wick wet, it's not gonna light. So you need to pour on the side here and you wanna be aware of leaving out that little teeny quarter of an inch, I call it kind of like your pinky nail amount um, hanging out so you can light it at 72 hours or thereafter, okay? So here goes nothing. All right, um, we're gonna pour. Ta-da! Done! Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations, you made a candle. Woo, woo. Okay. All right. Yes, I did have espresso this morning. What? That wouldn't change anything anyway. I'm always hyper. Um, okay. So before we go on and make the second candle, um, I am going to show you how to use mica. Okay. Um, what is mica powder? Has anyone even heard of it? Hmm. All right, mica is a way to enhance your candles as if they're not good enough, like really, they're amazing. But once you get really good at candle making, you're like, hey, yeah, let me throw on some crystals. Let me throw on some glitter. Let me do some mica and change the color of the wax. You get all groovy about it. Um, so this is what your final project is going to look like. Okay. So today we make the candles. We don't touch them. Okay. Tomorrow, 24 hours from now, it's nice and cured and dried. It's not ready to light. It's time if you choose to, to play with mica powder. Mica powder is so much fun. Actually, less is more though. Trust me. I know I've messed up a few. Okay. It is very 
loose. And so it goes wee to like work with it. So it takes a little practice. Um, so we are making a moon shape, if you can see that here. Moon, do you see that moon? I'm not an artist, but I did the best that I could. And I actually really like it. Um, so that's how our final product is gonna look. If you choose to, you can make a moon. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. Or maybe you don't wanna make a moon. Maybe you wanna cover your whole top with mica powder. And you know what? You can do that. That's allowed. It makes a nice shimmery effect um, and it'll look beautiful. Um, so that is an option as well. Um, again, feel free to ask some questions if you have any in the chat. We have our wood and wick experts in the chat helping me out today because I cannot do both at the same time. Again, I have a little ADD and it's just too much for me. Um, so hopefully you're enjoying making a candle with me. Um, so let me show you what we're gonna do. I have the gold and I have, and I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna bore you, okay? I'm very against boredom. I do not want anyone ever to associate my name with the word boring. That cannot happen, okay? So if it does, please let the people know in the chat so they can fire me. Um, okay, so because I don't wanna bore you, I drew a tiny bit ahead, a little overachiever in me. You know how that is. Um, because otherwise you would just sit here and watch me go do, 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 boring. Okay, but I do want to show you because you gotta see how the mica powder comes out. Look, it's kind of like, if you use a lot of eyeshadow that glitters or if you have an all-star cheerleader daughter at home, you know the one I'm talking about. I had that one too for like 15 years of all-star cheerleading. So this stuff makes me think of it. Um, only the, we had to do like purple and green. It's hideous. Don't tell her I said that. Okay. So anyway, I like to pour it in to the lid. Okay. To see how fine and powdery it is? So much fun. This is what is awesome about making candles. The process is basically the same what we did, but what you could also do to enhance and change it is endless. So, okay, I'm gonna try to do it for you so you can see. I'm going to make this bigger and darker. Okay, with, and there's no right or wrong, obviously. I mean, a moon is a moon is a moon, and there's a million different shapes of moons. Um, you could do whatever pleases you, but you'll notice that it takes a little control, and I always blow off the extra. But look at how shimmery and cool that looks. I'm freaking loving it. Are y'all? Tell us in the chat. All right, awesome. Um, oh, I mean, I personally would leave mine like this, but in case you want it bigger, I'm just showing you a little step bigger, okay? Um, that's what's so fun. Like every candle can be something else. Like I have this other candle over here. I told you I have ADD, I'm not even gonna apologize for it. Um, that has like that kind of glitter on it. Um, it's just so much fun to play with candles. Okay, so again, take some concentration, honestly. It's, you have to learn to work with it totally worth it. So pretty, so magical. Okay, I promised you I wasn't gonna bore you. So I'm not gonna sit here and you watch me. Do, 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 do. That is not fun people. And if you're not having fun, I'm not having any fun. So we're moving on. See, that's how it goes. You love it, don't you? Okay, 
I know I do. Again, this is, if you wanna make it look darker, bigger, that's how you can make it. Again, you could cover the whole top with it. You can even put mica powder into the wax and change the color of your wax. Um, I've done that before and it is fun also to have different colored wax. Um, so we're gonna put that aside. And now we will make the second candle of the day. Okay. And mica powder comes in a lot of colors. You can mix them too. I'm telling you, it is fun. This stuff is create just is so creative to use. Um, the possibilities are freaking endless. Um, all right. So, next candle time. Ta-da! I love this. This is sleek. Black wood lid. I think it's maple maybe. And then the black matte um, aura, gorgeous. I want to tell you something. Like I told you, everything is recyclable, upcycle, downcycle, this cycle, that cycle, biodegradable, all that. Um, I haven't done it yet, but my next project is I'm going to recycle one of these, which I recycle these anyway, but I always just make another candle. Not this time, sister. I am going to put a succulent plant in here. I love succulents. How cute would that be? I'm actually gonna do it in this yellow one, I decided. I made that decision today. So I'm super excited. That's gonna be like part of my spring decor. If you're on here, like with Michaels, you love decor as much as I love decor. And you probably are browsing the Michaels aisles as much as I'm doing it. It is so much fun. I love spending money on that kind of stuff. Just makes me happy, right? So um, we're gonna do the next candle. But how cute is that succulent gonna look? But there's other uses. If you don't like succulents, um, you can make another candle. You can, I have one of these downstairs on my desk and I put in all my pens and markers in it. Um, so I'm sure there's people in this class of 250 that there's somebody on there that does this. You have your day planner, day-to-day -day calendar, weekly planner, and your color coder. So you write pink in this for these appointments and you do green for these and you highlight in this color for that. And your whole book is just a colorful, beautiful thing of appointments, right? I love doing that. I've been doing it since sixth grade. I wish I kept all mine. That would have been so cool. But um, love, that's like part of the enjoyment is making the calendar with the different colors and then checking off the big check off for achievement. Ah, love it. All right. It's the little things in life, people. I'm all about that. Uh, okay. What do you know? Another fun charcuterie drumstick or don't tell anyone I told you, but it could accidentally, you can like lose it, control, and it might like fly across the room. Could be fun. But anyway, no, just let's use it for what it's intended. We are going to use it to mix the wax and the fragrance. And we have a new fragrance, y'all. This one is amazing. Cashmere and vanilla. Like, really? Who wouldn't like cashmere and vanilla? I guess if you don't like vanilla, but I mean, actually it's very, let me explain this one to you. Oh my gosh, I love this one. So a little bit of a champagne on your boat deck. Mm. It's just, just with a little bit of some vanilla spice cookies and you're having your champagne. It is just fantastic. I love it. Um, cashmere and vanilla, if you want a good scent. Um, can't go wrong with it, I promise you that. Um, and it's a good year round scent because it's just good for all times of year. Like I particularly, like I told you, I've loved candles for over 20 years. Um, so I have different scents that get me into different moods that I also use for different seasons. I'm a freak like that. 
So this one though is a very basic all dayer. Like you won't get sick of it and it's not too strong and it's just like perfect. Love it. Um, so I better start getting this wax in um, while I talk more. Again, three minutes. If you're following along, I hope that you are making beautiful candles with me. Um, so we talked about, again, recycle, upcycle, this. Mason jars, crafters, I know you all are crafters. Um, you know the value of this bad boy right here. Um, you cannot go wrong having multiple mason jars in your house for crafts, right? Even on our website, we have a hundred different ways that you can use it to have fun craft wise. But what about putting spaghetti sauce or soup in it after you clean it, which is super easy because everything is toxin free. You just, um, just rinse it out with hot water. It takes like five minutes. I leave it in my sink, boom, done. Um, so like when my son comes home from college, I have sometimes things in the freezer for him to take back just to help him out a little with some cooking. So you can use it for that. I also have these in my pantry. Like I have a coffee bean one, a rice and a bean one. Um, so they make nice containers, nice and organized. Um, you can use it. I have a ton of these for bases because I'm a big flower buff. Um, so the daffodils just came out. Y'all, daffodils just started blooming where I am. Where am I? I'm in Tennessee. Um, I know I'm lucky. Smoky Mountains, home of Dolly Parton. Um, I love her. She's amazing. But anyway, um, so you'll always have a reason to use a mason jar. And right now there's actually a glass shortage in the world. Imagine that. Um, so good time to have one of these handy. Okay. Now we are going to... Um, Take the wood wick again in one hand, the metal clip in the other. And what are we gonna do? We're going to rock it in. I told you I might break out and dance at some point. Well, you got it. I can't help it, I just have so much fun. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take it in one hand. I'm gonna take the clip in the other and I am going to wiggle it just a little bit into the clip, okay? Here we actually, I want to use this side more. Okay. Boom. Boom. Like that. All right. Now, take the other side, this little sticker that we used last time, peel off the back, put it on the metal clip like that, peel off the doohickey like that. And what are we going to do? We are going to eyeball the center of the vessel and we are going to try to magically get it right in the center. Okay. And I won't lie. I mean, occasionally I don't get it in the center and they're like a little bit off like that. They still work right. Trust me. Don't worry about it. All right. So I go one, two, three, boom. Boom. Ta-ta! So simple. Anyone who would use a cotton wick and make a candle has a whole lot more patience than I do. You have to use like all these contraptions to get it to stand up. This is just so much easier. Boing! Done. All right. Um, now, let me get my wax out. <laughs> Again, pot holders, they're your BFF. This thing is hot. When it gets out, it is hot. Okay, so let's see. I have another glass after you, so I'm gonna need to put it there because I don't want to move them. If you move them, you can get like air pockets. It's not gonna be the best. You have a chance of not making the best, most perfect candle if you move it. It really needs to sit and cure and not be disturbed. This is kind of interesting. The one I made a few hours ago is already curing on the top. It looks beautiful. Um, so 
What we're gonna do is get the cashmere and vanilla, yummy, yummy. And we're going to pour the entire contents in. Ta-da! And we're going to take our bamboo stirrer and where's my timer for two minutes, everyone, two minutes. And we're gonna stir. Now, sometimes I like to sing Stir It Up by Bob Marley while I do this. But you know what? I don't wanna scare y'all away. I am the world's worst singer. And if you don't believe that, ask my kids and my husband. I'm literally not allowed to sing. Like I'll get like one eh, out and they'll be like, no, 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 no. Like literally I'm not allowed to sing in my own house. So the way I combat that is I have these classes and I sing because no one can stop me when I'm up here. Like it is the most beautiful, brilliant thing ever. I could sing to my heart's content. My five golden retrievers, I mean, they don't even care. I mean, they're used to it probably by now. They're like, oh, there she goes again. Um, but anyway, um, so you're just going to mix it for two minutes. Again, um, we have pre-tested all this. So we know that we are mixing it with the right amount of fragrance at the right temperature. And we're going to pour it all correctly um, because we're mixing it for two minutes. We are going to have the most efficacious candle that you can make. So we're going to have like, you don't. the worst thing is to buy a candle and 15 minutes into it, you can't smell it anymore. And I know there's someone on this call that is going, oh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. It drives me bonkers. Well, that doesn't happen to me anymore because I'm smart. I've outsmarted them. I know how to make my own candles and mine will smell all the way through. So here we go. We are going to, again, take the lid as a spoon rest. And we're going to pour it again on the side of the vessel. We're not going to get it on top of the wick. And we're going to, we don't want to overfill. So we want to leave out a quarter of an inch of the wood wick so we can light it and it can start crackling, baby. I cannot wait. This never gets old. I'm telling you, it never gets old. All right, here we go. Pouring, pouring, pouring. I have to find a song for the pouring part. If anyone knows one, please put it in the chat. I'm up for suggestions. Okay, pouring it. We're getting towards the end of class, so if you have any questions, make sure you ask them in the chat. All right, ta-da! Another candle success. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Y'all, I hope you guys had a blast. I don't know if you had as much fun as I did, but let us know in the chats. Um, Sorry, I had a blast making candles for you. Go ahead. Hey, Cindy. Um, we had a couple requests to see the finished um, mica candle with the moon on it again. If you could move it closer to um, the camera. Thank you so much. Is that good? Move it down just a little bit. Awesome. Can everyone see that? Let me. Oh, I took it away. Anything else? Um, they're asking, where can we get the beehive stirrer? This comes in the kit. And I'm not, this is a true story, people. Um, when I do have parties, I really do use this on my charcuterie tray because it's so cute to embellish. And I'm not joking. Someone asks at every party, hey, can I take that home? Or where do you get that? Do you have any more of those? Literally, like it's a party gift. Who knew? It's like a dollar something. This brings so much joy and happiness. Um, any other questions? 
that's all for now. Thanks, Cindy. All right. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had a great time. Um, you can watch the video again. And uh, when, once you order your kit and you get it. And we thank you so much. And thank you, Michaels. Bye-bye.